do some weed the people news all right this video is without prejudice and or without recourse not attorney i'm not giving legal advice maybe opinions but not legal advice I, I never look straight forward. I always look around me to be able to protect myself by any means necessary. All right, and again, <clears throat> I'm it's just thinking outside the box, right? The number one problem we have is the violation of due process. No matter what section that you believe, all right, whether it's contract law, uh, straw man, constitution, <laughs> civil law it don't really matter the number one issue we have today is in fact violation of the due process my opinion i am not giving legal advice all right <laughs> I've been asked to give a lecture at Birkbeck University, London. And while sitting in the audience for another lecture, we were told that the lecturer had cancelled. After being spotted in the audience, I was then asked by the organisers if I would be able to stand in and give a spontaneous lecture there and then. What you're about to hear is a recording of that spontaneous lecture, loosely entitled, An Introduction to the Occult Art of Law. I can't say upon this subject called law. I found it very interesting. One of the first guys I met was a guy called John Harris. Some of you may know him. He's uh, passed away uh, last year and we became friends. It was only through knowing him and doing a lot of research that I realised just how much hold law has over us and our lives and the way we think and the assumptions we, we make. There's a whole different language. It, it's known as legalese. It sounds like English, but it isn't. It's got very specific, well-defined meanings, which is why it takes so long to get a legal qualification. And I guess I better start at the beginning. On one side, you've got law, and on the other side, you've got legal. And they're two entirely different things. Never the twain shall meet, really. To make it quite simple, all acts, statutes, instruments, and what is legal is not law. It's only given the force of law if you consent. Okay? So that just goes on to one side. Legislation are the rules of a corporation, whereas law is kind of natural. It's something you're born with. It's like... As a child, you, most of us know the difference between right and wrong. It's one of those reasons why I guess they don't want to teach law in school, because children already know the difference between right and wrong. I mean, if you were going to be taught... You guys can pause it here. However, I'm just pausing it just for you guys to read the list. Uh, right? Um, that way you can get uh, a little clarity there. What law was, then you'd know the difference between right and wrong, and you'd be able to see through the kind of society we're living in now. So there are good reasons why they don't want to teach you law from a very young age. Believe it or not, we used to have a culture that did teach law at a very young age, um, but that was you know, quite a few thousand years ago now, and you've got to do quite a serious bit of digging to find that. So law is what we have. The last vestiges of that are what's known as common law. And, and if you ask a lawyer what law is, he'll probably say, well, law is law. But law is basically rules, maxims, bars, that have remained uncontested over time. Uh, sorry, y'all. Uh, like I said, I do these things at the last minute. Just wanted to pause it there for a second for you guys to read it. Okay. All right, so I'm going to shut the video off at this point. Uh, that way, 
hey, y'all can kind of just ponder it, as well as me, right? I got to keep everything in sections uh, for my behalf, okay? So that's what my video is about, is keeping sections for me. All right, this is the way the people news. Bye, y'all.